Hey, good Wednesday evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Thanks for clicking and watching the video here tonight. We have an air quality alert in effect through midnight tonight here, and that's because we put on a really good fireworks show last night. Typically, the ozone from the fireworks will go up into the atmosphere, but on a hot and humid day like today, we had an inversion, a rise in temperatures with height. Essentially, puts a cap on how high the smoke can go, and when it hits the cap, it comes back down to the ground. Now, air quality has improved this evening, and it'll stay improved as we go into our Thursday. We do have a coastal flood advisory also in effect tonight here. This is the fifth day in a row of tidal flooding. And it's not because of the rain. It's because of the new moon that we just had, excuse me, the full moon that we just had, as well as the uh, onshore winds we've had too here. You don't need rain for tidal flooding. You see in Cape May, these areas in Green, Congress Street, Windsor Avenue, you'll see some flooding as we go into this evening. Should only for be about three hours at most. Look at our satellite and radar here. Not really much to talk about, but when it rained, it poured. In some areas, actually saw upwards of three inches of rain right around bridged it. We take a look at our future cast as we go into tonight. Mainly clear, but some areas of fog will develop early Thursday morning, less until about 9 a.m. Then we have a mix of sun and clouds. Notice where our showers and storms are to our west. Now, I won't rule out something in Hamilton or Vineland Maybe Jackson Township, but really we're going to be dry for much of us here as we go into today. Air, excuse me, Thursday. Areas of fog as we go into our Thursday night. And then for Friday, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. And then we're talking about, again, showers and storms that mainly stay to our west. Again, won't rule anything out in western Atlantic, western ocean, western Cumberland. But if you're at the shore, I would expect two dry days coming up. We take a look at our nighttime forecast numbers. Right around 70 everywhere, it will be a muggy summer night. For Thursday, mostly dry, shower well inland for you in western Atlantic or Cumberland. When it rains, it can pour and bring some areas of roadway flooding. Beaches are looking okay. We have that tidal flooding on Thursday night too. Take a look at our outdoor dining forecast. How is dining al fresco looking? We'll go with four stars for both lunch and dinner. Now, if you're out the shore, this will go up to five stars here, but for the inland areas, just watching for that spotty storm. Thursday night, it will either be clear or you will see fog here. Fog is really a low-level cloud near the ground, but essentially, if you don't have the fog, you'll be able to see the stars. Then we go into our weekend. We are talking about on Saturday, uh, some showers and storms flaring up during the afternoon hours here, and this is with a cold front that will push through the region. Now, as we take a look a little bit further... And we'll get you into our Sunday here. You will see by the evening hours, we are talking about some rain knocking on the doorstep. And there will be a period of rain at some point, either late Sunday or Monday morning here. It's a little too early to be told. The future cast is showing Sunday night. But I want a little more time to really give us a good forecast and get you those hours where it's going to be wet. But most of your weekend... You know, I do believe if you're going to the shore, going to be on the boat, should be okay. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. Temperatures will be in the upper 80s Thursday and Friday. A few 90s in the typical places, Vineland, Hamilton. Then we go to the weekend. Saturday, I believe, is dry until about 4 p.m. or so. Sunday and Monday here. We're looking for wet periods. I don't believe either day will be a washout, but it is possible that half the daytime hours will be a washout and more than likely Sunday night will be wet. Then we go to next week. We go back up the thermometer into the mid and upper 80s everywhere. And we're looking for some drier weather as we go into the middle of next week as 